What do you do if you're a MAGA candidate and you don't want to answer any policy questions whatsoever? Well, uh, somebody has figured it out. This is a guy named Chuck Hand. Apparently, he was, uh, my understanding is he was at January 6th. I don't know if he was actually prosecuted for it. This is Chuck Hand. He's a candidate in Georgia, Republican congressional primary. And, uh, well, here, uh, this is how he reacts. I guess he's running against the incumbent. He was convicted of a misdemeanor outside the Capitol. Mr. Hand, um, Congress is currently working on a new farm bill, which will have a big impact on the second district. What are your thoughts on the current House Republican plan? Positive and specifically, would you support... He's being asked a question about agriculture policy. Um which, you know, I would imagine come from Georgia, big deal. Uh, and I get the sense that this is a rural uh, district. And uh, he appears to, uh, he's at least dressing like a farmer. I don't know. I don't want to uh, offend uh, Kowalski in any way. But uh, here is... Uh, this uh, should be in his wheelhouse, is your point. This should be in his wheelhouse. Hi, Mr. Hand. Um, Congress is currently working on a new farm bill, which will have a big impact on the second district. What are your thoughts on the current House Republican plan? And specifically, would you support the controversial proposal to cut uh, food aid for low income Americans? I'm Chuck Hand, lifelong resident of the second district. I've worked side by side with the people of the second district solving problems since 2018. Wow, six I've years. only seen this man next to me come around when it's election time wanting to run for office. Oh I've been wearing tires slam out in Southwest Georgia meeting with voters and building relationships in our communities for years now. I'm not interested in debating the issues of the second district with a man who doesn't even reside in it, especially one who orchestrates attacks on my wife. I'm more concerned about beating Sanford Bishop, representing you, and passing the America First agenda and putting Donald Trump back in the White House. This race is very simple. It's either 8th District money or 2nd District heart. The choice is yours. It's the dollar versus the change. Now this is where I get back in my truck and head back to Southwest Georgia because I got two, way, two races to win. Thank you very much. Doug Reardon, <laughs> uh, you're not staying, sir? Are you leaving? Oh my gosh. Okay. So mo mo moved right now. What an act of bravery. Smooth move. Running away from a questions to be an elected representative. I'm not going to answer no question about agriculture policy. Dollar change. I like that line, actually. It's pretty good. Um, I hope that guy wins. I yeah. mean, the primary, anyways. Um, I'm realizing that uh, Georgia's primary was actually last week and he lost. Oh, well. Oh, no. That didn't work? No. Turns out sometimes we want to hear. By 12? What you going to do for them? By 12%. 4,000 votes. How many people voted total? That is a real... 31,000. <laughs> so not, not, not a whole lot. That is a real disappointment. Well, mm. I guess we know uh, for anybody running for office in the future, that strategy has been uh, attempted already. I'm so God. Well, that's too like bad. Caterpillar hat. Um, let's go, uh, to IM's Nolito. Uh, already read that. Hopeful one. Gee, we have a ton of German heritage and I'm nice. Zent is a family name. Come on, lady. Six foot bear. Every time I see the Supreme Court in the news, I get excited to see Mark Joseph Stern again. Void lives matter. I'm not voting for Hunter Biden anymore. Graham Page, I'm gladly voted for a convicted felon in November. Dave from Ohio, Hunter Biden's been found guilty as being cool as F. Uh, no, number 13, I honestly pity the amount of aggrievement the Alitos feel. Despite all the resources and influence they possess at their old age, they're still clearly very full of anger. So many people need therapy. DSA from Aaron, Jesus Christ, my state sucks. Literally every Georgia white man right there. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and sorry, I, I looked a little bit closer, guys. Good news. Sorry, that was a Georgia runoff. So Chuck Hand is still in contention. Oh, okay. he just got, he just got second in the runoff. I thought it meant he lost. But okay. They, they have a runoff coming. They have up. a runoff. Yeah. All right. So was this debate? Uh, this was this debate was for the runoff. So that's oh, for why, the yeah, runoff. Yeah, okay, so. that explains it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He ran off. Oh. <laughs> Touche. I'm Chuck Hand. 
uh, hack all things. Stop reading IMs and insult libertarians so they call in to own you in the marketplace of ideas of Coconut Island. Look, I'll reiterate this. It's, I don't care if you're, you're watching on YouTube or if you're watching on Rumble. It doesn't matter. Um, if you're a libertarian and you want to call in and discuss anything, I'm happy to. It doesn't have to be a debate. It can be just a discussion of your ideas. Now, I will explore those ideas. I'm not going to interrogate you as if uh, you're a suspect, but I'm going to interrogate your ideas um, because I think they're silly and childish. I don't know all of them, but... It's conceivable. I'm sure some of them are good ideas, but uh, most of them are childish and uh, and baby brained. Hey, folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 p.m. Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.